Cheeky. This is a Fujitsu 12 RLS mini split heat pump. It's super efficient and it has a sear rating of about 25 and an HSPF or heating seasonal performance factor of about 12. What does that mean? It means about as efficient as a geothermal heat pump. This is amazing. It's so efficient and yet it's a normal air source heat pump with a difference. Just like the normal heat pumps you're used to, it has an indoor unit and an outdoor unit. This is actually two outdoor units, one are for my upstairs, one's for the downstairs. The difference, however, is that this has a variable speed compressor, which means it can work at exactly the speed necessary to give you the heating or cooling you need at a particular moment. These are the typical space heating units you're used to seeing. You can buy them at a convenience store or even a drug store for about 25 to 50 bucks. They cost one to two dollars per day to work and they put out about a third to a fifth the amount of heat as the mini split heat pump. So you'd need three to five of these running at a buck or two per day to equal the same amount of heat output by the mini split heat pump. What does this mean? In real terms, it means one to three or four dollars a day that you'd be saving by using a mini split versus several of these units. It does come at a cost though. These units, like I said, are $25, $50. The mini split heat pump installed is $2,500 to $3,000. So you're talking about big buck layout for the convenience and efficiency of the mini split heat pump. What about cold weather performance? Well, these Fujitsu heat pumps will actually work down to about zero degrees and still put off about twice as much heat as the space heaters that I showed you before. In my climate in eastern Pennsylvania, this system works great for air conditioning. Most of the summer, I can cool my house or a good portion of my house using a couple of these units. So that works really well. And like I said, the efficiency is incredible. It's basically about the same as what you get out of a geothermal heat pump. Now the geothermal guys will whine all day long about me making those type of claims, but in fact, in real use, this system is truly about as efficient as a geothermal unit. Now you may think I sound like a salesperson, and maybe I do, but I have three of these systems in my house, and they work really, really well. I also have a geothermal heat pump, and I have a high efficiency oil boiler. So I use myself as a guinea pig to try all these different things out. And I have to say, these Fujitsu units are the things I like the most. They work really well, the air conditioning is fantastic. It's amazing. So what about the price? Well, you know, at $3,000 a piece, they're not cheap. At the same time, you're comparing it with maybe a $30,000 geothermal system. So you might need four of these systems to uh, heat and cool your house uh, in a typical modest sized house. The geothermal system is $30,000 and the Fujitsu's might be $12,000 for say four, four units. So you know, the comparison is actually pretty favorable uh, from the environmental standpoint compared to a normal heat pump or other types of heating system. These systems really rock. They're excellent. What I've found is these units work best in, say, additions or a, a kitchen or a great room, someplace you need auxiliary heating and cooling, someplace that's maybe you would be putting something else in or having to run duct work and you know, it just wouldn't be convenient to use for your existing system, to expand your existing system. Or maybe it's just not comfortable enough in your, uh, say, your bedroom at, at nighttime. If you have a master bedroom suite, you know that often those aren't satisfied very well by the existing heating and cooling systems. So these systems can really supplement it. And so what's the disadvantage, you ask? Well, it's a heat pump. So it's not miraculous. It's still, if you're down, you know, in the teens or single digits a lot of the time, it's not going to provide as much heat as a geothermal will. The geothermals excel at cold temperatures. Even a properly designed geothermal system requires some backup heat on the coldest of days. So that's not a huge disadvantage for these units if they're sized appropriately for your home. You know, you probably want to be able to satisfy 80-85% of the cold days with the heat pump before you have to kick in the auxiliary heat. What other disadvantages are there? Well, you do have those wall mount units. Some people think they look fine, other people think they're ugly. That's a decision you have to make. Another disadvantage is these are single room heaters. And if you have an open space, the heat will naturally move, just like your fireplace or a stove. It'll heat a larger area, but really you need one of these per each enclosed area. So if you tried to heat your entire house with it, it would get really expensive. You'd probably want to put one in every single bedroom. So like I said before, these are best used in additions or places where you want auxiliary heat and cooling. That's it for this time. 
Thanks for joining me on The Energy Geek. Until next time, I am Ted. The Energy Geek.